<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all. Um, yesterday I did a video and I was, uh, I was expressing the way I felt about the situation, a photo I saw on Facebook of a man being burned uh, by a woman because I don't know what the woman saw in his phone that warrant such um, action towards him. Now, I want to um, make this very clear to everybody. When I talk about violence against men, it's equally violence against women. I am, I condemn all forms of violence. Violence in with social um, relationships between human beings has never solved the problem. Instead, it has aggravated the problem. So, I have received a lot of comments backstage. A lot of women have been writing, some even angry and saying that, um, Esther, Esther, why are you promoting men? Why are you encouraging them to cheat on their women? Please, let me tell you something that you don't understand. Women, girls and ladies. There is no way you cannot tie a man. You cannot tie a man. So don't think if you carry out a barbaric action towards him, you will make him change. The biggest question is why do men do why men cheat? Have you asked yourself that question? Why is your husband cheating on you? Well, very soon I'll be a conflict expert. I'm studying on conflict management, resolution and transformation. And very soon, I guess I'll come up with a very good book. I want you to understand something. Problems, before they explode, it starts from somewhere. Before people have conflict, there is an underground cold war. That you, that you, you ignore, maybe because um, it's not really important, I can deal with it. You ignore those things. And when it aggravates to a certain level, it explodes. And when it explodes, it becomes a very big issue that you'll not be able to handle them. So a lady came online and told me that when I have my, when I call my own man cheating, I should do whatever I please to do with him. But, but, but her, she's going to kill that man. And I asked her just one question. That will you be happy that a woman or a man somewhere kills your daughter or your son? Because the man cheats or the man did something wrong to your daughter or your son. She was speechless. She said, I should grow up. I should instill the right values in my, in my, in, in my children. I said, yes. So it's a responsibility all of, to all of us right now that we need to instill the right values in our children. Now, you can produce a fine man. From small, you show him that it's not good to act violently against him. When you're angry, you need to calm down yourself. People say love is because they love their spouse so much. That's why they react in that way. I say that's not true. That's not love. That's infatuation. Because when you love somebody, it's not like a possession. A man is not your possession. He decides to share his life with you. So don't feel like you own him. Because you don't. It's God that owns all human beings. That's why your husband can die today and after five years you remarry if you want to get married. You can die today, your husband remarry after two months. It depends on him. Even the Bible says that word. That we should not pull asunder. When one or two have become together, no asunder. Till death do us part. Means that after death you guys are no more together. But let me tell you the truth. The mother of that son, of that husband of yours that you've killed, has lost a son. And maybe she might not have another son. You even have a lucky, you have the, you have the, the privilege of you having another man. But maybe that woman will not have another son. Maybe that sister will not have another brother. So before you do things, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, before you carry out such barbaric acts, acts, Towards another human being. In the name of love. 
You need to think. And let me tell you the truth. It's good to get married to God-fearing people. Choose a spouse who is God-fearing. When I mean God-fearing, not those who go into church every day. He's a heart of man. He has the fear of God in his heart. Because if you have the fear of God in you, you will not think of impeding or putting or carrying out dangerous acts. That, will, that is life-threatening on another human being. Right? If you see that man or that woman as your sister, as your brother, you will not treat him that way. I still stand that no violent act is good enough to be used on any human being. Have you asked yourself the question? And let me tell you something. The girl came and said, um, this message is for boyfriends and boys. Because real men don't cheat. I looked at her and I laughed. I said, real men, what do you, what do you quantify? How do you qualify a real man? Let me tell you who is a real man. A real man is a man who respects his family. No matter what he does, he keeps it away from his family. His family is first. A real man is a man who wants to, even when he wants to even think of cheating, he uses a condom. Because he knows that your life is at risk if he's playing with his. That's a real man. A real man is not a man that you think he's holy. Everybody's a human being. Right? You that you're claiming that you do whatever you want to do because you're angry, if he cheats on you, you kill him, you do this, you do that. Are you God? Are you not committing sin? Some of you women are the ones making men to go out there and cheat. And some of you men are the ones making women to go out there and cheat. Yes. Yes. We need to tolerate each other. You need to tolerate your spouse. In as much as you are tolerating your spouse, you, you point out the things that you don't like. The foundation of your relationship counts. You met a man who had women in his life. You even met a man who was even married. You came, he divorced his wife and got married to you. And you want to own him? Are you for real? And you say, real men, real men don't cheat. Yes, cheating is not a good thing because it's just like they say, the wages of sin is death. Let God punish him, not you. Don't carry that sin. Why do you want to make things easier for him? Why do you want to make things easier for her? People always talk, oh no, he's cheating. What caused him to cheat? Hey, it's in their nature to cheat. It's in their DNA to cheat. Hey, Ceci, that's not true. That's not true. It's not in their DNA to cheat, my dear. It's because people marry now for so many wrong reasons. So many wrong reasons. You don't even know a man. Yeah, you cannot know a man in, 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 in entirety. But please, there are some basic things that you need to understand about it. Understand a human being before you say, yes, I do. In sickness and in health, till death do us part. Before you want to say those rhymes, because I call them a rhyme. Taking those, te those hard vows. You need to know that man. You need to understand that man. So, I don't understand how. Because you caught a message in his phone. A message in his phone that you've not even yet verified. Do you know how many men they have ex relationships that they want to come back into his life? Do you know the women that he left? Then you know he left those girls. He chose you over those girls. Do you know the type of women that he left? Do you have an idea? Do you have an idea? Do you know the conflict? Or the dilemma that men go through in their minds each day. 
At times, a man feels like he has made the wrong choice. Because maybe you gave him those expectations. You made his expectations to be so high that you cannot live up to them. Why in marriage you start discovering things that you, 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 you hid it away from him? And vice versa. My dear, reaction to certain situations is not, you need to think before you react. You need to be calm in your spirit. You need to have God in you. If you put God in the center of your relationship, when I mean put God, it's not you walking from one church to another. No. That's where we are having another issue too now. We may think that when they run to one church to another, they are Christians. That's not true. A true Christian is in your heart. The things you do, the Bible, you read the word. You meditate on the word and you act on the word. It's important for us to know all of this. So no matter what you tell me, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, just not justify the fact that you have the right to amend on a human being violence to carry out any form of violence. So men would think that some, so many women think that it's so difficult for a woman to get married. That's not true. I have brothers who have gotten married. I have cousins. Let me tell you the truth. That's what I knew that this thing is not for women only. Before a man wants to get married, my dear, you don't know the, the daily man he finds himself inside. My cousins have more than five choices. Girls. He was confused. But let me tell you the truth. He went and even got married to the least of those girls. The girls, the least girl that I expected. But I asked him that, why did you get married to this girl? Why did you decide to get married to this girl? This one is not even sophisticated. She's not too sophisticated. You have, you met sophisticated girls. You had girls that I liked. Why did you choose this one? He said, Esther, I married my woman because first, let me tell you the truth. She has a good heart. My woman has a good heart. Yes. She does not have that spirit of anger in her. She's good in her spirit. That's why I decided to get married to her. Because I know that with such a spirit, she'll be able to build a home for me. I have my shortcomings. She will be able to overlook them and look for a solution. If a man is cheating on you, look for a solution to that problem. What, what is causing him to cheat, my dear sister? What is it? Is it in the family? Is it in the family blood? Is it in, in, in the lineage? How do you help him out? Is it that you're the one you are the one pushing him outside? Because of your constant, you are making your mom feel he's not doing anything. He's not good enough. You had options. Every day you remind him. Every day when you have a little conversation. Every day you remind him that he knew the men that I had. The sisters that I had. I decided to choose you. And let me tell you something. Never you use the secret of your man or his weakness to insult him one day. Those are those things that cause a man to leave you, to start detaching himself from you. Because he knew that he would stop telling you secrets. He would stop telling you his things because he knew that one day you will use it against him. Even you, the man. You don't do that to a woman. All of those things create tension in relationships. Great tension in marriages. Great tension even between your brothers. No matter your relationship with your even within your family, those things do create tension. Let's always look for the cause of a problem. What is the main cause of that problem? 
If you cannot solve that problem from that stage, from the main cause, my dear, you've been doing nothing. So if you care, you pour him water, you burn him alive, you crack his penis, you have not changed anything. You've not changed anything. But now you've either brought yourself to his level. Why descend that low? Why? Why? So, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, it's important for us to instill the right values in our children that we have now. Yeah, maybe our parents did not instill those values in our men. You cannot blame them. That's why some of us have gone to school. Let school go through you. Instill the right values in your kids so that you can produce, we can have a generation of people who are rational. Those pe people who don't react like animals because they are angry. Are you the first person to get angry? Are you the first to be cheated on? Or will you be the last? You can you you will never be the last. But we can change the way things go. With the way we react to certain situations. So please, my dear sisters and brothers, don't kill a man because he cheats on you. Know the cause of him. Why is he cheating? Why is he cheating? Why is she cheating on me? Imagine a man who gave you everything. He met you. Right? Helped you in life. Imagine a woman who met you and helped you in life. Change your life. Because he did one mistake. You decide to kill him. Are you for real? Don't you have a conscience? Please, let's stop violence against human beings. Let's stop it. It's not good. Thank you. I know a lot of people have been asking me, they want to follow me. I'm not, well, I just did that yesterday because I was angry. I just had to express the way I felt. But I guess I should be having this more often because I guess I have a lot of things to share with people. I want us to have an interaction. Let's talk. These are pertinent situations that are, these are pertinent issues that are plaguing our society today. It's important. We have conflict on every level. Interpersonal conflict. Conflict even in your family. You have conflict everywhere. It's something that we always have, but it's the way we go about it that makes a difference. You must not resort to violence. You must not kill. Why do you want to soil your hands? Because you're angry? Let the person who did that act carry that body in him. Let him carry it. It's his problem. God will judge him. He will go and do his own. And one day, something will happen to him. So why do you want to be a mediator? Why do you want to be God? Are you God? In all of this, let God be the center of your life. Marry a good man. And don't transform a good man to become a bad man. Do the right things at the right time. You must not be too nagging. To pass. Respect your man. Just respect him. You might be bigger than him. But he's a man. That's why he's a man. Whether I like it or not, there's women emancipation. Whether I like it or not, a, a not, a man will always be a man. Do you know why? I want to ask you just one question. Can you give birth to 100 women, 100 children, sorry, in nine months? 100. Can you? You, woman, you, can you? The answer is no. But do you know that a man can have 100 children? 
in nine months if he wants to. He just need to impregnate 100 women. He can do that. So, why kill yourself? Why soil your hands? Why commit murder? Why enhance the devil in you? It's not important. Okay, I've said my own. If you care, you follow what I'm saying. But I pray God touches the heart of everyone who is using violence against human beings to solve a problem. Because that problem will never be solved. When it comes to human relationships, violence has never solved any problem. Instead, it will aggravate it. Thank you very much.